Earth energies, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. In today's reading, we're going to explore what is it that's making it so difficult for you to move on from your special someone. So we'll take a look and see what is it that keeps you holding on to your romantic interest, your romantic energy, even though deep down inside you probably know that moving on may be the right thing to do. But what's making it that what's making it that you know extremely difficult to do so it is going to be a general reading guys so please just keep that in mind there's also going to be a part two to this reading and in part two we're going to explore what exactly might transpire between you and a romantic energy will you hear from them again will there be an opportunity to reconnect and reignite the sparks um, and part two is going to be made available via the extension link below. You will just have to follow the link, follow the prompts to, in order to access that reading. If you're after a personal reading, my email address will be listed below the video as well. Uh, feel free to email and we'll go from there. So guys, let's go ahead and begin. So what is it that's making it very difficult for you to move on from this person? Why can't you let go? Okay. I can see it's hard for you to let go because you're still emotionally invested in this person. Okay, bear with me, I'm just going to straighten everything out. Okay, I feel like some of you have tried to emotionally detach from your person. Okay, whether it, it's been a very complicated romantic relationship or situation or it's just been a toxic one but i feel like a part of you has tried okay but there's clearly there is clearly an emotional closeness or emotional connection that's still like an emotional thread that still connects the two of you together it does feel emotionally draining though okay especially with the ten of wands from what i can see i do feel like this is something that has um taken away from you like rather than contributing to your happiness, I can see that it's a connection that's taken a lot of your happiness away from you as well. It is causing you un undue stress, anxiety. Um, and you've you've tried, especially for your for the sake of your mental health and your well being too, you've tried to walk away from this person. Or, you know, you've tried to detach emotionally, but it has been very it's been very exhausting and it hasn't been easy because time and time again, you keep finding yourself thinking about this person. You keep finding yourself still loving this person. So I can see that, you know, even though you've considered detaching yourself emotionally, um, you haven't had a lot of luck there. Some of you are even picking up the sense that as a result, because you were so or you still may be so emotionally invested, that it's kind of leading you to like an emotional numbness of some sort where you feel so much for this person still um, but it's sort of created this emotional numbness here and it doesn't mean that you're this emotional numbness that i'm picking up it doesn't mean that you're you lack emotions or you lack empathy here it's not that i just feel like those that emotional numbness is coming from the fact that you're so drained you're so emotionally drained and mentally drained and physically drained 
I think what's also making it very difficult for you to move on from this uh, individual, from this romantic energy, is because you may not have always held them accountable for the role that they played in this connection, okay? The role that they played in this relationship here. And you may not have always given them that emotional space, not because you're clingy or needy, not that, but purely because you've always wanted to be there for this person. You've always wanted to show how much you care and just how invested. So it came from pure, honest intentions. But when it comes to your individual, I feel like, you know, sometimes because you care too much with the Ten of Wands energy, right? Because you've cared too much about this person, um, that created a very neg negative impact on your life because you kind of started losing a sense of who you were. You started becoming very co-reliant and codependent on this person. And so when they left or when they have walked away and when this relationship you know, has come to an end or a standstill of some sort, you feel as though they've taken a piece of you with them. And that's because you've over-invested so much of yourself and your energy into this person, into this connection here. And when your mental health, let me just say that, when your mental health is being affected, when you start losing sleep or you become very irritable and when, you know, there's an excessive amount of worry, panic or anxiety that you take on, then it's probably a good time to let go, okay? But I feel like a part of you is still maybe holding on and I don't think that you're holding this person accountable because from what I can see, there has been, okay, some of you... I can see that there is a long distance relationship that you may be you may have been involved in and maybe your person um, just wasn't putting as enough effort they weren't reciprocating okay maybe you were the one that was constantly over applying and over extending yourself in this con um, in this connection purely because you felt as though your partner wasn't doing the same and you were again you know you had pure intentions but you were coming from the mindset that you had to, on a subconscious level, you had to sort of overcompensate for your energies, lack of int uh, lack of effort, sorry. So a lot of you, I feel like, try and really focus because I can see that there is so much um, fire energy, okay? There's so much fire so that tells me that there may still be a flame that burns brightly between the two of you. This may be a form of flame that we're talking about for you here. There may still be an attraction that exists. Um, you may have done, you may have gone through a lot of growing in this connection. Okay, this person pushed you outside of your comfort zone, and um, you grew as an individual and you grew together as partners. There were a lot of lessons, though painful and uncomfortable at times. There were still a lot of spiritual lessons as well that evolved from this relationship so i feel like this connection taught you a lot and again i feel like you're you know it's and i think it wasn't just a one issue either it wasn't just a one-off issue i think it was a multitude of reasons as to why this didn't necessarily work for some of you it was long distance the issue of long distance the fact that you live or lived you know far uh, away from one another that geographical distance that obviously further complicated your connection for others there may have been a third party situation there may still be lingering emotions feelings for an ex or an outside party there may have been just an overall imbalance in your energies where the two of you though you know you wanted this connection but the two of you didn't seem how somehow you didn't you just couldn't find a way to make it work and I can see that for others of you it was a little bit one-sided and yes there was such an intense connection and attraction but there had to be more to it and I don't know that this person was willing to step up um, so for you in order for you to try and let go it's important that maybe you identify the reasons why you you know got out of this relationship why you put an end to this connection here for some of you, maybe try and focus on the fact that this person changed over time. The person that you fell in love with and the person that you knew wasn't the person um, who you had, you know, the person who you had at first sight isn't the person who um, you ended up with. And that what they weren't the same person that walked away from you here. Okay. Um, also, don't hold on to any emotions especially with the star card, release your emotions here. Um, 
do whatever it is that you have to do. If you feel angry, hurt, if you feel sad, upset, if you feel disappointment, he do not bottle up your emotions here. Try and find an outlet for these emotions. Like for example, it can be a sport, it can be kickboxing, it can like a kickboxing class. It could be a good idea to take up dancing classes, cry, scream, do whatever you have to do just to release those emotions, do some emotional purging and some cleansing because I still feel like you're attached to this individual. I still feel like you have very strong feelings for this person and I feel like maybe there is still some sort of communication um, that you guys have with one another which is making it really hard for you to move on. Um, and the other thing is you have to know that it's okay to let someone go but still love them. That's purely that's fine. It's completely acceptable. It's completely normal. It's okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's okay if you had feelings. It's okay if you, you know, still have feelings for this person. It's okay if you've had expectations in your head and even if those expectations didn't quite necessarily meet your reality, that's okay. It's okay. Don't be so hard on yourself, okay? It's okay that things didn't work out this time around. Maybe there is something better for you in store. But it wasn't okay. What's not okay is the fact that this is deteriorating your mental health, that you, you, you may be losing sleep over this, or that you're potentially shutting yourself off, um, you know, by not putting yourself back out there or by not allowing yourself to feel those emotions here. So don't react, but respond to your emotions, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, and start small. There is no time frame. You don't have to let go, get, let go of this person today, tomorrow, or even next week. Um, make sure it feels right for you. Okay. Um, so in part two, we're going to explore um, if there might be any future connections uh, between you and this person, any future communication. Uh, will you be able to revisit things, reconnect, or you know, just what your uh, person is up to really so part two is made by the it's made available via the extension link for those of you interested in the personal reading um, my email is also made available in that section otherwise please show your support by liking um, sharing subscribing and thanks guys for your time and attention bye for now